right, so this is The Charms of London on page 20. This is by Hummel, and we know that he lived during the classical era, like Mozart. So what's in this music that sounds really classical in style? Those two-note slurs, yeah. right? And the three-note slurs, right? Mm -hmm. What else sounds classical in style? Maybe the difference between the legato and the staccato. Yes. All right. Bailey, what are you going to be listening for when she plays this piece? The slurs. The slurs. All right. And Kelly? Mm, a nice, steady tempo. A nice, steady tempo. Wonderful. Anytime you're ready. We all laughed at that first two notes slur, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> how were her slurs for the most part, Bailey? Mm -hmm. Really good. And how was her tempo? Good. Yeah. Do you think you could feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more steady through the whole piece? I think you could. Oh, we have some place. Oh, oh, come on in. <laughs> all, right. Sorry, I was going to say. all right, so let's try this. This first vari or this variation. What do you hear differently about what I'm doing? I'm playing much more staccato. And what did I do with the dynamic level? I did play it louder. It's going to be a lot easier to play in that way, and nice and consistent with those rests. All right, we're going to take it from the top. Nice. I love your release from the keyboard. Let's listen to the variation one more time. And can you make those half notes in your right hand be exactly for two beats and not any longer? So when will you come off of your right hand? Which note will you hear in the left hand? Four. For the variation, measure nine. When exactly will your right hand come off? Um, after two. I mean, um, after two. So what will you listen for in your left hand? Which note? E. The D, right? So when you hear your first staccato note is exactly when your right hand comes off. Okay, listen for that. 